Here we go. They're coming around. Give me a sec here. I'm going to start off with uh, this guitar here I play a lot. This is my air guitar. You guys can hear that music. That stuff is going to be... Uh, I've been recording a lot lately for the new CD coming out. This here is the Wino Caster guitar. Well, are you talking to me? No. I'm hurting. Do Five o'clock somewhere. That's a wine box. Some of these people probably don't read this corkscrew on there for the whammy bar. Two wine corks. My daughter painted that, which I showed that a little bit last night. This here is a cigar box. It's a double neck cigar box. It's a three string, six string. This is the two headed Mojo Monster. Move over, and this is the the dirty ore. This is a it's actually a pedal. People bust my chops, but or just has got a lot of cool names to it. And yeah, and it, it's, it's twin next to it is the the Raisin Cane guitar. Maybe we'll do them both here. So you got the Raisin Cane. Kind of low on the ground, so. I'm gonna transfer over to the, I played this last night. This is the Pitchfork guitar. It's got an old nose piece off of an old Chevy. I'm gonna go on each guitar so you guys can check all the guitars out, Forkenstein. So here's the Grave Digger. Remember, the music you're hearing is going to be off the new CD, I think. I pick and choose from this point. Grave Digger guitar. This one's got a bunch of stuff on it from the funeral home. Even the, 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 the shovel itself. I got from a funeral home. Next to it is a cigar box guitar, another one. This is another three six string combination. This is the cigar box monster right here. This is uh, one I'm actually thinking about selling. This is a three string, I found an old antique shovel. It's kind of tight in here. I know the lighting isn't great. Um, that this thing's a little screamer right here. This is uh, for playing slides. Got three strings on it. And let's see, right next to it, I played this a little while ago. This is I took an old Jack Daniels tin. Those are two broom handles. For the neck. <clears throat> All right, let's move up here. This is I used. This is called a stud. I actually, this is one of the first guitars I made. I took an old 2x4 that was in my uh, garage working on something. I just want to see if I could make it a uh, guitar out of it. And uh, I don't know, I've got so many guitars, I trade them off and on. But I made this out of a 2x4. And that's a little three string slider. Okay, now let's head over to the wall. This one here. It's got a cool story to it, too. Um, I got a call from uh, Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. I was actually a friend of his that Billy wanted to see one of my guitars. And this is the only one I had available at the time was this one right here. This is, uh, I call this a Willie G. But this was actually uh, played by Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. And also the Derek Trucks band was also there. And I'm not sure... It got in their hands. I don't know if they played it or not, but I know that they wanted to check it out too. So it's kind of a cool, cool deal here. 
That's a motorcycle theme. Now remember what you guys are hearing is some tracks I've laid down for a future CD. Whether I put these songs on or not, I don't know. I turned up a little bit again. This next one is the Mustang guitar. This is parts that I had left over from an old uh, Mustang that I had. Some hub cap. Some of the parts that were on it, the ignition keys, the emblems. I'm liking listening to music. Um, okay, this is another cigar box guitar that I made. <clears throat> I'm still working on this one. And that's kind of what happens. I'll start with one idea and then kind of... Uh, work around it a little bit. It's a uh, six string. And that's kind of in uh, work in progress. Uh oh, there's a little bit of sax work on this song. This is the, well the light doesn't do this any justice. This is my Indian guitar. This is gorgeous. Right next to it is the veteran's guitar. It's got all the coin from all the different branches of the military. This next one over here is a three string cigar box that I made on, I went on a family camping trip and uh, it was named the Delta Muse by my my late sister-in-law that passed away uh, from cancer way too young but as we're on this trip everybody in my family colored on it my granddaughter my kids anybody that's uh, that was there and they all took turns coloring on it as we uh, through our camping trip, so it kind of means a lot to me. And now, we'll go back to an, another automotive. This is the first one I've ever made like this, and I just, it's gorgeous. I took an aluminum air cleaner, and got emblems, Mustang emblems, of course, you can see. The volume tone control. Let's see if you can see it. It's a national air cleaner. It's got the air cleaner. If you've got any motor heads out there. That's a cool piece right there. Now this one here, next to it, now again, this is another, I went from a Ford. Now this one here is a Chevy. It's a, if anybody's into NASCAR, this is number three. It's Dale Art Earnhardt Sr. It's a, it's a theme Intimidator is called. That's a stick shift. That's a steering wheel, racing steering wheel that I that I made the body out of. The volume and tone controls are off of uh, models from the same year and stuff like that. If you guys are hopefully enjoying this little show and tell. This is uh, the Voodoo Stick. This is, I got this one, it's down south. This is a walking stick. Move this out here a little bit. And they also had the skull and crossbones there. Hang on tight here. This for the body. The tongue is, uh, that holds the strings. The eyeballs of the volume tone control. Voodoo stick. Next to that, I got the Screaming Eagle. This is uh, another design that I've, I haven't ever tried to duplicate this. Um, 
This is a motorcycle theme. Uh, what you're seeing right there, that's the air cleaner. I did a dual exhaust off the side of the body. Uh, this guitar was put into uh, Easy Rider magazine. Of course, it's got the sprocket. Right up to the top here. Harley theme. One you can't quite see. I want to take up things behind here. This is uh, I went to Alaska with my boy and he got me that that plate. But one of the guys that uh, was into my music, and watches the videos, painted me this, and it's very cool. You guys can see it when I'm playing all the time. But if you look at it, it looks like a swamp. But if you look deep into the picture, those are guitars back in there. It's kind of cool. This from my daughter. Red be playing guitar, that's right. Alright, now I'm gonna drop down. This is my junkyard getter. This is one that's made out of uh, duct tape, zip ties. I got the main body part from the junkyard. Beer caps with volume tone. Uh, the little thing on the side, which is over here, right there, that's uh, something out of a pen that it, it, I've got, like, makes a little bit of a rattle noise. I like that. I um, use that from time to time. Let me get back down on here again. That's a wrench. And then below that is a butter knife, and that's what holds the strings. So this is all rude and crude stuff. Man, I love the sound of that. Remember this? Music that you're hearing is off. Could be on the CD that I got coming out. I just, uh, I recorded a bunch of stuff and I got it on tracks. I just go through it to decide. This one here looks kind of a scary looking head on this thing. I wanted a six string or this is a, this is uh we call this one the Fendor. Even though, yeah, it probably is a paddle or something, but it just was just, like I said, cool name. This is a, from a local brewery. I live up, by, it's Saranac. Go down to the body of it, but this thing's got six strings on it. The Fender. That's the Serenac emblem that's on it. That's kind of a beast to make. So I think you've seen everything that I have here. Now I'm reading your post. If anybody's got any questions, anything I didn't show, um, let me back up a little bit. Remember the music. Don't know if this song would be on the track or not, but this is behind the scenes that normally guys don't get a chance to see. I don't know if I'm going to put this on the track or not, but... Another kind of a quick round on the guitars. I'm gonna do the pedals one more time. I want to thank everybody for uh, coming every week as you guys do. Please pass and share. This is for, like I said, for all the the gear heads. This is the things that I'm working on as I'm uh, playing. That's for all the, that's Indian flute that I just got. Some of the percussion stuff. Got some of the harmonicas in there. Of course, it's tight. Uh, one more time on the, the pedals. It's a head rush pedal board that I use for the sounds of my guitar. And below that is my new looper pedal that i just been, uh, trying to get the hang of that does all when I when I record the stuff it plays it back all right I'm just gonna switch this around so you can get my scary face on there uh, let's see here there we go 
Well, I want to thank everybody for getting back. There we go. Just trying to learn how to do all this stuff here, everybody. Ah. How's that looking so far? I'm not doing too good, am I? There we are. Anyways, I want to thank you for coming and sharing and uh, hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the little the look behind the scenes of all my stuff that I got there. Like I said, the music that you're listening to might be on the new CD coming out. So you guys are getting a little pre-taste of what is uh, that might be coming out. There's some more right there. All right, let me... Uh, all right. Thanks a lot for coming here, guys. I do appreciate it. And this little behind-the-scene look at 